Hello, I'm Ruth Preedy, and I work for PwC and the Global Accounting Consulting Services. I specialise in IFRS 13, Fair Value, and IS 36, Impairment. Therefore, my day-to-day -day life is about cash flow models. So I've decided to record five short videos about my top tips to producing a cash flow model. Tip number three is carrying them out, and this is specific to impairment. The principle of IS 36 is you need to compare like with like. What do I mean by that? You need to make sure that the carrying amount of the asset or cash generating unit is equal to the recoverable amount. And that's the higher of the value in use or the fair value less cost of disposal. You need to make sure you're comparing apples with apples. IS 36 actually has quite a lot of rules in this area about what you can and can't include. So it's important you go through the standard in detail and go through each of these rules. In terms of assets, you can include the assets that generate cash flows for that cash generating unit. The general rule is you don't include recorded liabilities. However, there is an exception if the asset and liabilities cannot be separated. An example of this would be an item of PPE with a decommissioning liability attached to it. So just remember, you're always comparing like with like. 